Does normalize subscribing, normalize liking, normalize sharing, normalize commenting if you are new to the channel, and if you are a returning subscriber, a regular D at day one. What do you do, gang gang? What do you do, guys? I know, right? It's been a while, it's been a minute, it's been almost a year without me sitting like this, talking to my phone. Speaking to you guys, I've missed you guys a lot. I know I have gone for too long, but I can explain the, which is the reason for this video. It is a life update to show you guys the good tea. I am back like um Umkolo and I'm going to explain to you guys why I have been away from YouTube for so long, for so long, for such a long, long time, for months. Like I think it's been eight months or so which is a very long time for someone who is in this space. <laughs> I don't know even how to structure this video. I just like took my camera and say, let me just like record a um, live update because I have so much content for you guys and I can just give you content without explaining where I've been. So, um, uh, the last time, the last video you guys saw was a vlog. Uh, the last time I had that vlog, after that vlog, it was Umgo, after Umgo was Bana. I promise you, it was a lot. Um, okay, school was just um, a lot. School was just a lot. Um, I couldn't cope uh, with my work, uh, balancing my schoolwork and YouTube. Um, I think I was starting my exams or something but like i had told myself that i'm taking this break to get done with schoolwork so that i can come back to youtube and like shoot content without a stress this goal okay i find sana i'm going to go goes on and on and on and on and on i don't want to bore you with that and then my phone decides to break so we were on a date ne, with my little sister, the one that you know, Yanda Kate, the one that is always on the channel. You've seen her multiple times on my channel. If you haven't, please go check that video out. It's a few videos. You can choose which one you want to see her on. But like we have a video where we were doing challenges and she's there. You'll see on the thumbnail, she's there. Um, We were on a date, me and her, it was her birthday. So we we're celebrating her birthday. So I was, I told myself, Bana, I'm gonna vlog. Yeah, bro. So we were so naked. We drank and yeah, it was a mess. So like my phone fell onto the toilet and yeah, that was the end of it. Cause like, if you know me, survivors, so much water there. That day, it was just it. Cause like, I. It turned on after a day or two, but it didn't last, and then it went off, and then it died, like it died, guys, like just like that. Fee, 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 fee. Sorry, sorry, my nose is itchy. Sorry about that. So, fine, finally go away, but now my phone is not there. I tried um getting it fixed. I tried um going to shops people recommended me a few shops a lot of money was spent i don't want to lie to you a lot of money went into trying to fix that phone but it just didn't work and then yeah i lost my phone then Jala. so without my phone i cannot shoot any content so yeah a lot happened when i was not on youtube a lot a lot a lot but the other ones i won't go into depth with but um um, that was Jane when my phone died. In March, we went on a staycation. Hey guys, welcome to our staycation or whatever. Welcome to our tour. This is the tour, the room tour, the house tour, the apartment tour, whatever you want to call it. This is the kitchen, as you see. Covered space, microwave, machine, uh, whatever in the kitchen is to have. We have here our dining area, small and space for breakfast. Anyone to 
have something nice. What is this now? Okay, we'll see you later. This is, I don't know what space is this. This is the TV. The couches, here we have, okay, <laughs> the balcony. The balcony. Okay. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Oh. It's this elegant mirror that we have. Aesthetics, aesthetics. The lines are beautiful. This coffee table. Let's go to the bathroom. Um, oh, this is the mirror. There you can see me here. We have our shower, which is very spacious, I must say. And we have our bathtub. You can get in. This is the bathtub. This is the toilet. You get it. Yes, this is the bedroom. <laughs> this is from Bali. This, <laughs> this is the closet. This is the bed. And that is our tour. And it was a girl's vacation. Thank you. It was nice guys i'm gonna give you clips of what happened i'm gonna show you guys what went down <laughs> weekend if i may say or if i may put it like that it was a wholesome weekend had a lot to drink it was fun like no no even this word doesn't describe the amount of fun we had on that staycation it was just gee, a life away from me life basically so we went on a staycation that was nice i'm gonna show you clips of what happened after the staycation, we then, um, or after the staycation, I then saved up for a new phone, which is the Rhythm. Why is still up? Hmm? <laughs> I bought myself a new phone with the help of Ines Fasti Banja. I'm not going to give myself all the credit because, um... I tried saving up for this phone, but like, gee, something was just pulling me back, chill. A lot was pulling me back, chill. But yeah, uh, I ended up being able to buy it. And then we have a new baby in the house, which is why the content looks top tier. What do you mean? From my um, I don't think I'll speak about that when I get home. I'm so grateful. I am very grateful to God. I am very grateful for being able to even buy this phone. Stana. It wasn't a, a easy decision to make to decide to take all the money and go buy this phone. But then I did because it's such a great investment to my channel. And I really, 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 really missed YouTube. And I thought this was a great decision to take to just buy a phone. So in the course of me um, not having a phone, I was using this other phone. And in between that, um, I got a job. In March, I got a job. 
at this retail store it was a contract um i worked there it was so draining guys it was really draining the most draining three months of my life like yo that go like it was worse like the treatment um it, it was just a lot it was just a lot i couldn't take it anymore but then they uh, they ended my contract they they terminated my contract after three months I don't know i felt sad when that happened because you know when you're used to like getting some money every month and then suddenly you're not getting anything like it's sad but then yo i think it was a blessing in disguise i don't know i don't know because like yo i me working there i i lost weight i i was so unhappy it was the most uh unhappiest three months of my life i wasn't happy any in any form like yo it, it was draining and me not being happy because of that job contributed to everything that was happening around me like i felt so sad like i felt very sad and another thing that i i need to tell you guys is um i'm no longer staying at risk let me catch a breather. You have been speaking. I'm no longer staying at rest. I'm not staying at home. And yeah, it took me a lot to take that decision as well to just like come back home. I'm still at school, but like I'm doing a distance learning because most things are online. I just go to campus when I need to write a test or maybe there's something that I need to fix that needs me physically being there. But other than that, I'm always home. And yeah, I'm just left with a few modules to finish this diploma because this qualification is taking up a lot for me. It's just messing up with my mental health. And like Ngi right Ngila, guys, Ngi school. Ngila. And like, I don't need you guys to motivate me. Like, I'm tired of motivations. Not to be rude, not in a bad way, but like, yo. I'm tired of Guzolunga. It will all work out in the end. It will all be worth it. Hey, guys, in me. Sometimes in life. Sorry, guys. My sister walked in and I was still speaking. So, yeah, I'm saying sometimes in life, you don't need those motivations. Like, you just need to go through whatever that you need to go through. Allow yourself, allow your mind, allow your body, allow your soul to go, to go through it. It go away. Yeah, to go. Go be go go, guys. These braids are gonna ruin this sweater shirt of mine. But then, yeah, um, sweater shirt, sweater teeth. Yo, hi, man. Yeah, so I was saying, go go see. Like, you need to go. Sometimes you just need to accept the situation while you cannot change it and like go through that phase because like there's nothing that does not pass, guys. Even the rain comes to stop. Even the rain stops. It comes to an end. It rains and rains and rains. And then you feel like, yo, it's going to rain forever. And then it stops. So just take your situation as involar. Because it rains and stops. So while it's raining, you just stay in the rain. You can't stop it. There's nothing you can do. You don't have superpowers. So if there's a situation in your life and you cannot change it, change it just go through it and then accept it and then you will be fine and then after that rain comes the sunshine and then see the happy song hey guys um uh what keeps me going is um all things work out for your good like that that phase that that code or whatever it is it just keeps me going all things are working out for the good you might not see it now because it's happening at that very moment but like it is working out for the good like have you ever had like a situation where you have you have to like sit and think of oh, you had i not gone through that i wouldn't be where i am today like looking back at that horrible situation or that horrible state or whatever uh you have gone through that was painful or that was hard and then you see guti actually that was a stepping stone to where i am today i had to go through that for me to be where i am today so yeah 
that is what is keeping me going prayer keeps me going although i don't do it more often these days but like prayer keeps me going it like settles things for me it keeps me calm it gives me peace like the yeah yeah it's just that yeah guys it's not a lot that has happened but it's a lot that kept me off youtube i'm not gonna go into depth with everything like i said but like i wanted to give you a good team you guys should know good see the content that is coming up for you guys i am at home i'm no longer at rest and for you guys to understand the good team i had a job i worked and it didn't work out see so yeah we're here we are trying out this life being um, a part-time student or unemployed <laughs> but uh, we are hoping for the best eh? and yeah man i think that is all that you guys needed to know from me and that i'm back and then the and that there is more content coming for you guys i'm gonna make sure like i am giving you guys my word that i'm gonna make sure that i am consistent and i am giving you guys the content that you signed up for and yeah guys authenticity see up i'm gonna just give you content i'm gonna give you me guys i hope you guys watch that and enjoy it i thank you guys so much for your continuous support um we have been growing even if i was off youtube i saw the numbers growing it's not big numbers but i appreciate each and every one of you in this channel and i hope uh this year is our year to grow the family to grow the cheetahs and like if you want to be a cheetah lana we are cheetahs like we we speak about everything we play we are free souls like singama cheetah you understand so let us subscribe let us like if you haven't let us comment and share this video please tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends friends that it is nice in this channel and they should they should subscribe and because you guys love me so much you're going to share this video with your friends thank you so much so much so much so much so much i love you guys so much your support does not go unnoticed Thank you even for those who share um, my videos on their uh, stories on Instagram. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you. See you on the next video.